How do you install Java on Ubuntu? How do you configure Java Home? How do you make sure that the JDK's bin directory is on the operating system's path? It's actually super easy to do. And really, there's only one prerequisite to installing Java on Ubuntu, and that's just making sure that Java is not already installed on Ubuntu. So what I want you to do is I want you to just open up a, a terminal window and type in Java dash dash version. You should get a, a message that says, well, Java is not installed, but it's easy to install it. And you'll get a bunch of commands for installing a bunch of different distributions of Java and the JDK. The one I want you to take note of is the sudo apt install default dash jdk uh, actually type that into the command window sudo apt install default jdk you'll be asked for the password for your operating system if you do it as sudo i'm not going to tell you what my password is but it's going to say to you are you sure you want to continue are you sure you want to install the default jdk and i'm going to say Yes, yes, I do. And when I click that, put that Y into the window, the default JDK is going to get installed. Now, I should mention that the default JDK is, is actually, what do they call it, a symlink or something like that in the Linux world? It's basically a pointer to an actual JDK installation. So what this is going to do is this is going to install JDK 21 for me, open JDK 21, but it's also going to have a pointer. This default JDK is going to be a pointer to that installation location. When I do my configuration, like when I set Java Home, I'll say, you know, I'll point to the default JDK installation. And that default JDK installation will point to the actual JDK 21 installation. Then in the future, if I move to JDK 23, all I have to do is point that default installation to JDK 23. I don't have to actually go in and change any of my configuration. So it's a, a pretty clever way to, to create a nice, robust, uh, and easy to configure environment for you. So it looks like the, the JDK has been installed. I'll type in Java dash dash version and it says to me, look, you've got open JDK 21 installed. I promised you open JDK 21 would be installed. Now, Let's actually go in and take a look at where the installation happened. I'm going to do a, a directory listing for user lib JVM, and you'll see there's a folder for default JVM, uh, default Java, but you'll also notice that there's that open JDK 21 folder in there as well. So default Java is pointing at that folder. If you update and go to a, a different version, well, default Java will point to the newer updated version. But what we want to do right now is we want to actually go and configure the environment variables um, and say, hey, you know, Java Home points to this default Java installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a sudo nano etsy on environment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a reference to Java Home and a reference to Java Home that points to that default installation in this environment.d slash 90 java.com file. So I'll type in java underscore home equals in double quotes user slash lib slash jvm slash default dash java. That will now be java home. I'll do the control o to write that out to the file system. Then I'll do the control x to exit out of the nano editor. And now I've got java home configured. So if I actually go in here and well, actually I gotta, I gotta restart my environment in order to get that environment variable to come up. So if I just do the echo Java home, it's actually not gonna to print out anything right now. I, I could log out and log back in, but there's a, there's actually an easier way to do it. Uh, well, I don't know if it's gonna be easier. It might be harder, um, but all I have to do is type in source and then slash Etsy slash environment dot d slash 90 java dot conf that's going to reboot it and now if i go in and do that echo dollar sign java home it says hey we've got the default installation here that's the java home and as we all know that's pointing to my java 21 installation the fact that we were able to do java dash dash version earlier indicates that the java 
executable file in the bin directory is already on the path. So we don't have to do that extra configuration in Ubuntu like those people that use that other lesser operating system have to do. And there you go. You're done. It's time to start writing some Java code. That's how easy it is to install the JDK and configure Java Home on Ubuntu 24.